Hi everyone, in this video I'm responding to a flat earther named Patrick Shank who claims that he has a flat earth model. He said he's waiting for me to debunk this. He posted the link to his video in a thread under Team Skeptic's Shane Dawson video. Let's take a short look at his model and debunk it with just observations in the real world. This is how he thinks the South Polar stars move in the sky. They wander along the big ice wall each night in this magical vortex of stars. That means around the whole flat earth within 24 hours. In his model, the South Celestial Pole would move directly overhead at 90 degrees in the middle of Australia and would move across the sky from one side to the other, as we can see in his own model. The problem with that is that the South Celestial Pole and Sigma Octantis always stay south in the real world. Sigma Octantis looks for us almost motionless. This simple observation makes his model impossible. See, if you would divide this ring into 24 hours, in 6 hours of one night, the South Celestial Pole and Sigma Octantis in his model would have to move one quarter of the entire circumference of the flat Earth. People here in Australia would see it moving across the sky like the sun, and it would be in a different spot in the sky every fucking hour. And on top of that, it wouldn't be south anymore. But guess what? It doesn't move, as each and every star trail time lapse shows. You have to film the sky for hours to make them. But the South Celestial Pole doesn't move across the sky and always stays south as this star trail time lapse shows. Here's a time lapse of the southern sky from Namibia. I don't see the South Celestial Pole moving across the sky, do you, Patrick? Did you ever try to make a time lapse of the sun or moon and notice how fast they move over the sky? Your star vortex moves constantly about the same speed as them, so how can there be any star trail time lapse like this? It simply can't. By the way, I really want to know what happens during dawn. Do the stars first turn in one direction and then suddenly start to rotate in the opposite direction as the vortex comes into view? Whatever, there are other points why this model is just nonsense like sunsets and sunrises are impossible, distances don't match reality, the sun on an equinox cannot happen as we observe it, the question what makes the sunlight stop in the middle, you know, lots of stuff like that. The AE map is already proven to not represent the flat earth. Even many flat earths dropped it meanwhile. He was until this very moment not able to present a proof for the movement of the stars like we see in his model. He tried to move the goalposts in a video that he said he made for me by simply changing my claim. The problem with his video is that the very first animation he made shows exactly my point. That the South Celestial Pole and Sigma Octantis are moving around the flat earth in a big circle, which it obviously isn't doing in the real world and not even one of the time lapses he presented shows it. He tries to claim that they do, so I challenge him to point out the South Celestial Pole and Sigma Octantis and show to me how they move from one side of the sky to the other. But he obviously don't wanted to do that. Instead he was just trolling me. He tried to play the ball on my side, demanding proofs from me for various stuff and made a bunch of other ridiculous claims, but no sweetheart, we still focus on this point first. You made a model with certain predictions about what we see in the sky. Now show to me and all others that it matches reality. I showed you star trails which prove that the South Celestial Pole doesn't move across the sky. You failed to prove that it does. When he doesn't know how to prove you wrong, he deletes comments under his video and blocks you. He even admits that he was pretty pissed when he noticed that I came back with other accounts to call him out on that. He let sometimes one or two comments stand and then delete the rest so that his comments are the last one on the thread and it looks like he won the discussion. Pretty shady shit. Let me give you a short overlook on how my conversation with him was going. He posted the link to his video with the claim that this would be the flat earth model. You see here my first responses to him. Take especially note about this comment here because this is the claim I focused on the whole rest of our conversation. Some comments later he posted a follow up video which he said he made only for me, the one I already showed you. At some point he was dumb enough to open a thread under my video where he can't delete my responses. And there he started to move the goalpost more and more as you can see here in this comment. 
See how he went from my claim about the South Celestial Pole to a claim about the octants visible in different places of the sky, and then wants to prove to me that the Southern Cross is not directly at the center of rotation. I wasn't at any point in our conversation saying that the octants are motionless in the sky either. They do rotate around the South Celestial Pole. The claim I made was the whole time still about the South Celestial Pole and Sigma Octantis and how they see motionless in the sky. I called him out on all of that. I simply wiped his insults away and didn't let him move the goalpost. When he noticed that the thread under my video shows him trolling and moving the goalpost and that he completely fucked up, he ran away and deleted this whole thread under my video and all of my comments under his videos. He even removed this comment here from Part-Time Vegan under his video because Part-Time Vegan made this exact same point about Patrick's model than I did, which I think is fucking funny. Guess what Patrick, that was a bit too late. Patrick is just a troll, he knows he's wrong and still lies about it. I wouldn't be surprised at all when he even flagged this video here. Dude, you need help, your model is garbage, it doesn't match real world observations and no lying or deleting comment threads will change that. To debunk me, you simply have to show the South Celestial Pole moving across the sky around the Antarctica ice ring. Until that, case closed, model debunked. That's it. At least for now. Thanks for watching, bye bye and stay tuned.